Hi everyone, you're Pat Rao, here with another vlog. So first off, it's really cold outside. <laughs> it's starting to get colder now, and today was just really, really cold, really, really windy. Not a good combination, and I'm just not looking forward to the cold at all. Anyways, the thing I want to talk about is that I just came back from a movie. I went like right after work and McDonald's. But um, I went to go see Venom, Let There Be Carnage. I didn't talk about this before, except for like briefly, but I did see the first Venom a couple weeks ago. I think it was a couple weeks ago. I don't know, but I did see it fairly recently because I knew I was going to be seeing this Venom movie. And I really enjoyed this one. Let There Be Carnage was really, really entertaining. I'm not going to spoil much. The movie is about um, this serial killer who ends up bonding with a, a symbiote called Carnage and the way that happens I guess I'll spoil this little thing but um uh the character that is um hosting Venom Eddie Brock who is the main character um alongside Venom uh he is interrogating this serial killer before he is about to be sentenced to death and then um uh, the serial killer ends up getting under his skin by saying a few things causing venom to like attack the serial killer his name is cletus and then um when that happens cletus like bites eddie's hand and accidentally um, absorbs a bit of the symbiote and that ends up becoming carnage so yeah now one thing i really like about this movie compared to the first venom movie is right off the bat we get to see eddie and uh, venom's relationship and it's probably like my favorite part of the movie just seeing them uh, interact with each other they have um, a really interesting uh friendship and that's it took a while for the first venom movie to get to that point because um uh eddie doesn't bond with venom until i want to say like quarter of the way to halfway through the movie i don't really remember but for this one we get to see that happen and then um you get to see the serial killer do things once he's bonded with carnage in terms of the story i think i do like this venom movie over the first one i i think i just really like the premise of a serial killer bonding with a symbiote and escaping and then just unleashing carnage pardon the pun but um it was it was a very fun and entertaining movie now the post credit scene was also very interesting because this one only had one where like main like Marvel movies that are produced by Marvel because Venom is done by Sony. Um, they have they typically have two. So it was re it was really weird seeing only one for this movie. But this post credit scene does make things interesting for future movies that Sony could do. And that's all I'm going to say on that. But um, I really, really enjoyed this movie. Anyways, um, that's really it. That's all I want to talk about, so I'm just going to end it off here. I'm going to try to keep myself warm because it's really cold outside. Really, really cold. But, um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and see you all next time for another vlog. Later.